Child Psychology Case Studies In-depth studies of single individuals or, or a small group. They tend to involve many different research methods to gather plenty of rich detailed material. Triangulation can be used to test for reliability and validity, comparing the data from different sources to see if they correspond. Data tend to be qualitative to allow in-depth analysis. They include case background. Focus on case description and case analysis because the description of the situation and the analysis of it can be hard to separate. An example of this is Curtis's 1977 study of Genie. Evaluation of case studies. Strengths. They are reliable to an extent because the same data can be found from different research methods. They tend to be valid because they often take place in the real life setting of, of the individual or small group. Weaknesses. They are of a unique individual in particular circumstances, so are hard to replicate to test for reliability. For the same reasons, they are not generalizable. Case Studies in Child Psychology Genie by Curtis in 1977 Case background was as detailed as possible. Freud's study of little hands. Axline's dibs. The focus on children with problems so that they can be understood and possibly helped. Little hands needed treatment for a phobia of horses. Dibs needed treatment for silence and difficult behaviour. And Jeannie needed treatment in the form of socialising. However, case studies can be carried out to investigate d child development in general. Takei, 2001, did a study in Japan on how sign language develops in deaf children, looking at two children in detail to code their signs and explain how their language progressed. Evaluation of case studies used in child psychology. They are useful for child psychologists and educational psychologists when focusing on a child whose development is problematic for some reason, as the detail that is needed could not be gathered in any other way. Case studies are often longitudinal, so are useful in showing developmental changes, which is also often necessary in child psychology, not only to learn about how children develop, but also to follow a treatment program to monitor its success. However, case studies focus on one individual or a small group, so their findings are not easily generalizable to others. For example, Jeannie was unique. Even though other children have, sadly, been found in very bad conditions in similar ways, each child has had unique experiences, so it is uncertain that findings about one can apply to another.